The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. I like to think I was doing selfies before selfies were popular. If you were not part of the team, I would drop you. You have two types of people. Because I'm a narcissist. Put your sticky stuff all over the place. So what did I look like? They want you to go in a second time. Hi, hell no. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. So it's that time of the year where we gotta pick up Belinda and Gabby from the airport. You know what, I always feel like um, we spend a lot of time at the airport. <laughs> Whether we're coming in, flying in, picking somebody up, or dropping them off. So Belinda is one of our ambassadors that lives in Minnesota, and her daughter and her decided to come pay us our semi-annual visit. <laughs> I don't necessarily like traveling unless I absolutely have to. So being able to just fly into Miami and not have to wait for somebody to come get us is pretty amazing. It's always nice when your friends come to visit and you can spend some quality time with them. And that's exactly why they were here, so that we can spend time with them and get some uh, new training into them. And as everybody's kind of, you know, dispersing for the evening, Alexa pops her head out the back door and goes, are you gonna be ready for training tomorrow? So, sorry, what? Training? Yeah, training. We're training you tomorrow. Training me to do what? Enjoy a vacation? Is that is that a thing? Because that's why I made this trip. And she's like, no, silly. We'll, we'll see you in the morning. Okay. Sergio! Hello. What's up, man? How you doing? Oh, you look sexy, bro. <laughs> Welcome home. Yes, Sergio is back. <laughs> 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 Has begun. Sergio's in the house. It's a different, man. What do you want? You know, one of the things that I like is when I see people that have gone through our training programs and, you know, at one time or another they were one of my mentees and you've seen them expand what it is they love to do. For Serge, his passion is financial business. He's a financial facilitator. Serge has been traveling the world for the last two years uh, applying the tools and techniques that I learned at Bo in many different ways. When have you ever seen a financial planner that's full of tattoos? What does that tell you? That anyone can do it as long as you live your life. If, you, <laughs> if you're going to engage me in my fashion sense instead of my business acumen, shame on you. So Belinda and Gabby are an extension for our organization and sometimes they like to book us into different events around the states and I was teaching them. When you're talking to companies they have uh, procedures and policies they gotta follow and they're used to that. The ins and outs on how we like to get Bert booked on different stages. I was very nervous about this in the beginning because I'm not a people person. Shocking. I know. I don't like when people tell me no. It's unacceptable to me. When somebody tells me I can't well, why not? I need to know the technical reason of why you cannot because my brain does not compute, no. Okay. I had no idea what I was doing, none at all. I had never done anything like this before. The fact that she was just, you know, throwing me in was a little nerve wracking, but she is an amazing teacher and she did a great job at helping. Like when I had to ride that formula car, I was scared out of my mind and I chickened out. And LJ looks at me and he's like, you can do this. And then Bert was like, you can do this. And I'm like, and then I told myself, what a freaking hypocrite. Mm -hmm. I teach people to overcome their fears and I'm not gonna get in a car to freaking do this. So when I'm gonna make these calls, am I gonna be too scared to make a call to somebody who could potentially be my next best friend? That's how I approach everything in business, is you never know who's gonna be your next best friend. Any other questions? No. I wish I had you during high school. <laughs> I might have done a lot better. So my vacation turned out to be a workation because apparently that's all they do. And, and it was okay. It turned out to be all right. Being in South Florida in summer, it is not the coolest place to ride. It gets really, really hot. Then there's a lot of rain and then there's a lot of heat. Have you ever ridden behind a motorcycle before? Really? This is your first time? It's going to be interesting. Did you go over the rules with her? She's driving. She better know the rules.
Writing at night is cooler and I really enjoy it. I said the girls must need an aspirin. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I need to go to the bathroom, I need to rest my butt, and I'm gonna grab me an ice cream. <laughs> Let's review the episode. In this episode, I want you to pay attention to relationship building. Make sure that those relationships you have, just because some people decide to do something else in life and then come back, it's okay. Because those bonds are hard to come by and those relationships are really important. And also be proud of what people have done with whatever it is that you taught them. As you notice the part where Belinda and Gabby travel thousands of miles to come to South Florida to spend some quality time with us, not only as family and friends, also as students. See, one of the most important things in life is never forget that you can learn something new every day. The day you think you've learned everything is the day you've lost everything. And like always, I hope you enjoyed the episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to make it happen. Hi, welcome to the family. My name's LJ, and don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And, and don't forget to subscribe.